some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Before I get to uh, the introduction of the video, uh, there is a uh, channel that I suggest you check out. If you are into uh, wild police videos, then this one is for you. It was created by a uh, subscriber of mine who uh, has sent me videos in the past several times along with other content creators. And you may have heard his name on the other channels that use his videos or the videos that he finds. So if you like wild police videos, go show Silvio some love and hit that subscribe button ASAP after you watch my videos, of course. Now, speaking of the police, we have another Sovereign Citizen video for you. This one is hot off the press. Just came out yesterday. We find ourselves in Gulf Breeze, Florida, which is only a couple hours away from where I live. Anyway, we find ourselves at a traffic stop where a Sovereign Citizen has just been pulled over and is... Well, she is giving the usual Sovereign Citizen spiel, and it fails miserably. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Young lady, Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. I'm pulling you over, you're doing 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, before you got off the bridge, and uh, as soon as you came off the bridge. All this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, actually, yes, you do. you do. You know, I've lived in Florida for most of my life, and I've had to deal with the driver's license law in this state the whole time that I've lived here, and I can guarantee you that you most certainly are required to have a driver's license. They teach it to you in school, so you'll be ready to go for it. So I don't know what material you've been reading that has gotten you in this direction, but I suggest you lay off the uh, lead-based Kool-Aid and get with the picture. 15-7-41 with me. Ma'am, step out the vehicle. Step out the vehicle. Am I... You, you, yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. Either you step out the vehicle, or I will remove you from the vehicle. I know my rights. Fifteen seven, a sovereign supervisor, right sovereign citizen. Well, now looks like the Florida police are definitely trained on how to spot you, Nimrods. It looks like you definitely are not going to get away with it today. Did you hear what I said? You need to get a supervisor yeah. on your right. I want to speak to your manager. No, you need to step out the vehicle right now. Young lady, right step now. out the vehicle. Right. Step out the vehicle. Last time I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to make you move. step out the vehicle. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're going to step out the vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. We, I know my right. What right is that? I, I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. Well, now, my soft heart friend, that is where you are mistaken. For we have a driver's license classification that goes to A, B, C, D, and E. And A, B, and C are classified as the commercial driver's licenses. And uh, D and E are the regular driver's licenses where E is the most common. So why don't you pull your head out of your ass and stop reading that sovereign citizen BS and read some actual laws. Because it might benefit you in the long run. You certainly would be less stupid. I know my right. Okay. That, Very well. That's what you want to stick with? Call a supervisor. Okay. Right now. All right. Right now. Or else what? I know my rights. If I don't call a supervisor or else what? I guess we're not going to go anywhere then. Okay. okay. So just hold it for me and go and give me the channel. You need to get a supervisor out of here. Yeah, our channel want to be 1033. That can, that can educate you on what the, the law is. Okay. He's, he could educate me on what the law is. What, so do you have an ID or you have a driver's license? I, no, I don't have a driver's license on me. Okay. Do you have one issued to you? Uh, in Mississippi. In Mississippi. So, why would you need a driver's license to drive on the road if you don't need a license? That was years ago. Oh.
Oh, that was a long time ago, huh? I guess that was before you started consuming uh, copious amounts of lead paint chips that led to this stupidity, huh? So what year is this? What year was the ID issued? Nine, nine, I hope that's your supervisor. You yep. hope it is? I really do. Yes, I do. Okay. What is your name and badge number? I already told you my name. It's Officer uh, Banks. I didn't. And I, what is your badge number? It's Officer Banks. Are you failing to to? Are you failing to give me your driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. Well, you can travel all around the state. You can see Disney World. You can go to Wakulla Springs and see where the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon was filmed. You can travel to Tallahassee. You can travel anywhere in the state. But the moment you start using the public highways... While operating a motor vehicle, that becomes driving, and therefore you are subject to the laws of Florida, and therefore you have to have a driver's license. Sorry, but you're SOL. You have to have it. Okay. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I'm, I'm traveling... I don't, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. And what state is that? Any state. It's common law, natural law. Okay. Constitutional law. Okay. If you're going to talk out of your bunghole, then you should at least provide a citation so we can at least see where you're coming from. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do? Yes. Okay. So what, I'm what law? Your so just like I'm requesting your driver's license. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay, sorry, Turner. A, she won't identify. She won't produce a driver's are you, license. Are you the She's doing 58. Am, yes. Okay, and I do not have let, to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Let, let, let my officer speak first, then I'll speak to you. Her vehicle stopped for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was. Saying that is before she got off the bridge. She actually did a U-turn. We were in the 35 zone. Mm -hmm. We pull over here. I introduced myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast? And I say, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license to drive the vehicle. Okay. And then she said, I am traveling. Okay. So, you do need a license to drive the vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state of Florida. You don't. You're, you're in the state of Florida. Law. You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state I'm in. It does matter. I'm in the U.S. It does matter. So you better hope the information you gave us comes back as to being you. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. I haven't been suspected of a crime. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being That's cooperative. It is not a Terry stop. What Trust me, I know the middle? difference. Terry stop? Uh, she's beginning to sound a lot like Chile de Castro. Maybe she's actually been watching him. But I've already seen this video, and she doesn't pull out a trifold, so she hasn't gone that far down the rabbit hole yet. You're speeding. speeding turn the vehicle the off and get out of the car. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Officer Schaefer, unbuckle her. That's it. Put all that down. Step out, turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away turn from me. Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I have all the laws right there. I don't, care what, I don't care what laws you say you I have. I know that you don't care because you're, then you, you're supposed then to be you, a police officer, then you should a know peace that officer. This is, that you should know that this conversation's over then. Right, because you don't care about the laws. You don't care about our rights. That's the problem. Have a seat. I need to call. Have a seat. I need to call somebody. Yes, I do. You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. Excuse me? You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. You're under arrest. I, I live right down there. Where's your ID out of? Or your license out of? Mississippi. I just thought you didn't have one. You Sir, just said you don't need one. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. 
It's not ridiculous. It, We're not going to play any of these games with you tonight. It's not a game. This is my rights as a, it's as not a your citizen. Rights. It's not your rights. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're in the state of Florida. The state of Florida requires you to have a driver's no, license it, to operate a motor no, vehicle. Sir, it, it doesn't doesn't matter what state I'm in. See, that's your problem is you say it doesn't matter, but it does. I have in this country, in it does. Car. I don't care about what laws you sir, say you have. You should care about the I laws don't, and the rights but of citizens. I, your we know officer. your rights. We know your rights. No, you don't. You don't I know, know your rights. Yes, no, I do. you don't. Yes, I do. Because if you knew your rights, you knew or you would know and should know that you must have a driver's license I, to operate a motor vehicle. And I'm if I find out that cops. you, if you find, if I find out that you are not giving us the right information I, to identify I you, the right information. Why would you, I do that? I'm, I'm trying to use my rights as a legal citizen. Why, why would, I would do you that? do that? Well, you would do that because you don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have to have a valid driver's license. You do. No, I do not. Okay. I do not. Then we'll let the judge determine that. We will let the. <laughs> You, you can't arrest me. I haven't done anything wrong. We can arrest you. you. No, you can't. If you don't have a valid driver's license, we most certainly can. Can I please call my no, mother? No, you cannot. Why? Because you don't need to call you. Are you an adult? Yes. Then why do you need to call your mother? To come and get me from jail since I'm being illegally detained. You, you will be able to call her once you get there. Can I at least lock my car? We will make sure it is secure. <laughs> What are you going to do with my car? Probably tow it. Why? Because you are driving without a license. I don't have to have a license to okay. drive. That is commercial driving. It is not commercial driving. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, I'm telling you right now. No, 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 stop. I'm telling you, you didn't piss us off. I, okay? I obviously have because y'all are no. detaining me illegally. No, you're, you're being arrested is what's happening. And you have not pissed us off. We are doing our job. No, Whether you agree not. or not doesn't matter. You're it's a mute take point. You from the top. You don't know, your, you don't know the, the laws and the rights. Law is, we, we law do. is, law is we, canon we do. law. We do. Sergeant Turner. And, and in this country, what laws do we follow? Canon law. Y'all follow canon law. We follow the rest natural of, law. Who is we? Law. Who is we? Who is we? Tell me who we is. Police officers. No, not police officers. We, we are police officers. We're not peace officers. We're police officers. Yes, I know that now. So then your argument just needs to stop and you just need to sit there quietly. Sergeant Turner, please yes. just let me go home. No. Why? Because you do not have a valid driver's license and you have done nothing but give my officers a hard time during this entire but ordeal. I tell you that I have rights. You don't know your rights, I clearly. I haven't been to y'all. I haven't yelled at you. You have not away. been cooperative. Yeah. I haven't been cooperative in what Not silent? at all. Just go with it? No, just be honest. Sergeant, please. You don't have a license. I, okay, I'll, I'll never drive again. Yes, you will. Because you believe you don't have to have a I'll license. I'll go get a driver's license tomorrow. Well, wait a minute. Now, you, now you're telling me that you'll go get a license. Because you're telling but yet me you that I have no believe choice. You don't, that's correct. You have no choice. Sergeant Turner, please so this just is let the, me go. No, this is the road that's being taken, and this is what's going to happen. You failed to appear on a court appearance for... What was it, expired license? Yep. So your Mississippi driver's license is expired. And for the registration. Okay, and the registration. So you had a court date that you missed. Do you remember that? No, I don't. You don't or you choose not to? No, sir, I would not lie to you. I don't lie. I, I do not remember that. Okay, well, you do have a warrant out of Santa Rosa County. So Where regardless- Santa Rosa County? You're in Santa Rosa County. Do you not know where you live? I just moved here. My when? mother lives on High Point. When did you move here? About two months ago from Pasigula, Mississippi. Okay. And you don't know what county you live in now after no, two months? No, I don't. I don't. That's not something that I use often. Well, duh, she's not going to know what county she lives in if she doesn't use any of the government agencies to get her information straight. So how can she know that 
if she doesn't use them. Because all she seems to know is that sovereign citizen word salad garbage that she found on some shady website. What county I live in. Okay. Well, you are going to jail tonight. Well, thank you, Sergeant Turner. Y you're welcome. I can do that too. I can, I can stare at you. You know that you are doing the wrong thing. Nope, I know. Y'all could let me go and handle my warrant tomorrow. No, we can't. Right, because y'all have something to prove. I don't have anything to prove. My officer certainly doesn't have anything to prove. But what, what we want you to understand mother? is there are laws that you have to follow. Whether you agree with them or not is a mute point. Because if you choose not to follow them, and you continue to act like this and do this, you're just going to constantly be going to jail. Is that what you really want? I'm not acting like or doing anything like. You told us that you don't have to have a driver's license to drive. And clearly, you do. Can I, can I please call no, my mother? No, you will be able to call your mother from the jail. Let me go ahead and call no. her so she can head there. No. She's sleeping, please. By the time you get booked in and everything, it'll be early enough in the morning. You can call her and she'll probably be getting up. This is going to so take why, hours? It's not going to take hours, but it's going to take some Sorry, time. Turner, please. Can, can you just the answer is so no. You got some karma. I'm not worried about my karma. I know. No, you know what I'm actually worried about? People like You're you who think that laws don't... No, there is no quota. There, there it's people like you who matter. believe that laws don't pertain to them. I, I, and that's just not don't. the case. They don't. Then enjoy spending a lifetime in and out of jail. Well, I suppose she's going to be one of those types of people that are constantly in and out of jail for this BS. Well, you know the type. You know. <laughs> because I've that is what will jail. happen. Though it, though it won't, actually. If you continue to act like this and do this, it will. I, I'm not acting like anything. Then I'm I would suggest moving back to Mississippi. Are. Well, now, officer, uh, she be just as liable in Mississippi as she is in Florida. Because, you know, Mississippi law requires you to have a driver's license as well. So she's just screwed no matter what state she wants to live in if she wants to follow this sovereign citizen mumbo-jumbo garbage. I'm not moving back to Mississippi. Then if you stay living here and driving a car without getting a valid driver's license, that is what is going to happen. You do not have to have a, a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I've already, I've already been through roadblocks with state troopers with this. Then they're not very good state troopers. Yes, they are because they know they're, they're right. They no, the they, no. if they let you through with this garbage, they're not. This is not garbage. It's garbage. Have, have you done any research into it? I, more than you will ever know. Okay. You're not well, the first you one. Know it's not You're not the first person I've run across that thinks this way. If you spend your life encountering morons like this, you're going to learn how they think, how they react, what they follow, and therefore you get to know them better and you are more able to handle them in the long run. So basically what he's saying, soft hard, is you're not the first idiot that he's had to deal with in his long time as a police officer. You're nothing new, you're nothing special, and you've still got to have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle. And, yeah, I know. We're, and those, we're a those, problem right those other people went to jail too. Good, good. It's not it good. Doesn't it shouldn't the fact happen. That I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Mm -hmm. I do not. I'm okay. not a commercial driver. I'm not driving people around. I'm, I'm traveling. That is considered a part of my home. And I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I suppose you don't have to have a registration either. No. Your tag's expired. Okay. You know who I am. You run my tag. So here's what I am curious about. Because you're right. I do want to know more. Is that your car? Yes, that's my so car. So you're the registered owner of that car? Yes. So at one point, it had a valid tag and registration. Right, because if I rode around without any tag, that would just be asking you for trouble. 
So instead, you're okay just riding around with an illegal expired tag. It's not illegal. So, so you're basically masking the fact that you don't believe you the laws apply to you. It's I have a, to do whatever I have, run through these hoops that y'all put us through just to get by. You mean these? Yes. <laughs> Where's the gun in the car? The gun? Mm-hmm. There's no gun in that car. There seems to be ammo. The gun's in the pawn shop. When did you pawn it? Like two months ago. So why are you still just carrying around ammo? I didn't know that ammo was in there. What's wrong with carrying around ammo? What can Nothing. I do with a gun? Nothing. All right, is wrong with it. But if there's ammo, normally there's a gun. And since the vehicle's being towed, we want to keep the gun in safekeeping. Well, now, she really upped the ante with this one. Possession of cocaine. That can get you up to five years right there. So now we've got a sobtard in possession of a controlled substance uh, that's driving without a license. Wow, you're just hitting all the bases with this one, you lead paint drinking moron. 15 Golf Breeze. Even though you sent the warrant, stand by. Excuse me. Give me your full name. Give me your full name. Look at me, give me your full name. Give me your full name. Drugs inside the vehicle, you are under, under arrest now for possession of felony narcotics. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed, we're inventorying it, we're not searching it. Yes, you are. You're searching my vehicle. You say that our laws don't matter to you, so what does it matter? Obviously, I don't have any laws right now. No, there's plenty of laws. You're just breaking them. I don't have to mind laws that, that, aren't, that aren't valid. They're valid laws. They are not valid laws. The United States and the state of Florida seem to think they are. The United States has a constitution mm-hmm. that we, we fall under. Right. Statutes, and, mandates, and, codes. So, None of that matters. So under our Constitution, it still gives the, gut, the state governments the right to govern themselves, correct? Well, now, I was about to give my little spiel on the Tenth Amendment, but it seems that the officer beat me to it. So, uh, good job, officer. You just don't encounter very many officers who are willing to say that to somebody. That's right, and the sheriff has all and the power. That's right. That's right. The sheriff does. He is yes, the he, yes. head law enforcement officer. He's not officer. part of NATO. He's not part of the Council on I'm Foreign not, Relations. I'm not part of NATO either. Uh, what does NATO have to do with this traffic stop? This is not exactly a threat to any of the member countries of that particular alliance. Well, you, you, you take orders from the top. Nope, I don't. Yes, you do. You know who I take my orders from? My chief of police. Exactly. And he takes orders from the top. Who's the top? You want me to give him one name? I mean, that would be impossible. Well, I don't know who the top is. I know, because you haven't done research. I guess I'm just an ignorant cop. Nope, you said that. I didn't say that. Well, that's what you're implying. No, I don't imply things. Then stop implying that I only take orders from the top. Okay, now, we got a Sovtard who has traveled even further down the rabbit hole and is now engaged in some outlandish conspiracy theories. Okay, well, it's always been my perspective that claims require evidence and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and if you're going to go down that rabbit hole, you need to provide some extraordinary evidence for your BS. And stuff that's really conclusive evidence and not just conjecture or stuff you pull out of your rear end. Fair enough. You do take orders from the top. That's how it works. Right not. Oh, it doesn't? I'll just make up your own? Yeah, I know that's what y'all doing right now. No, you make up your own. I don't. 
I know the Constitution. I've learned it. I know the Constitution too. I also know that the states you know, have the, the right to the govern themselves. Has been turned into shit. Oh, and I'm sure you're the expert. Yeah. I, I, you're not. I have rights, and I live in America. Correct, but you 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 decide which laws to follow. I don't, I don't, I don't follow. take orders from anybody. Nobody's giving you Except orders. God. Nobody's giving you orders. Uh, obviously, you are right now. No, nope, right going now. To jail. Yeah, because you violated Florida state I law. I violated a law that someone made up that, that's not legal. The Constitution was made up. Yeah. By people. <laughs> Yeah, Those same people put laws into place even back then. Yeah, maybe you should exercise your Fifth Amendment right from this going on, man, because you are not exactly going to win this argument because he pretty much uh, destroyed your entire argument right there about the laws being made up and then turned around on you and said that, well, the Constitution was made up. And they also made laws back then. So there. I mean, he's got you there. But I mean, this is just plain old simple logic that he's just throwing on you. This is basic stuff. You are just too stupid to realize it. Our, our constitution was changed in 1776 and in 1871. Oh, I don't think it was changed in 1776. It, it, you are such a dumbass. The Articles of Confederation, which was this country's first constitution, did not come into existence until the year 1777 and then was discontinued when the constitution came into effect in 1789. And then right around that time, George Washington became the first president of the United States as per what the Constitution says about the election of presidents. You don't know your rights. You don't know anything about your history. You don't know Jack Squat. You are a complete and utter failure of a person, a failure of a U.S. citizen, a failure of everything. You are an idiot. It was written in 1772. Ah, there we go. And it was it was changed in 1871. I'll have to take your word on that one. Because you haven't done the research. Because I don't need to. Right. Because you know everything. I don't know anything, but I do know my job. And I know my yeah, officers know you, their job. You know the orders that you're supposed to do. No, I just know that you have to have a driver's the license. The people in the community. We don't should be helping the people. We do help. No, you don't. Mm, we do. You, you, you. You don't know anything. Pocket everybody. You don't know about. You don't know anything about us. I do. To sit there I and do. say that I don't help anyone, that my officers over there don't help anyone. Y'all aren't helping me right now. You're not helping yourself because you choose to no, not no, get a no, valid no, no, driver's no, that's, license. That's totally changing. You're just playing a victim. I'm not. I'm not playing a victim. That's what you're doing. I'm not a victim. I'll never be a victim. I hate that mentality. Then, then, then why are you playing all these excuses as to you don't need a driver's license? It's not license? an excuse. I have the laws in that car. That's why I ride around with them. Why? To I have educate, the book of the Constitution To, to educate people like me? I don't think that you're interested in learning anything. I, I don't think, that think you're you, very stubborn. Yeah. I don't think you know anything about me to even get to make that comment. What? My opinion... And, of course, she was charged with the felony possession of cocaine with and misdemeanors of DUI and operating a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. Lady, you only have yourself to blame in this case. You proved to be a complete moron at the law, a complete moron at history. You need to go back to school, and that is that. You are an idiot. Is it any wonder why you fell for that sovereign citizen garbage? At any rate, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.